The solar system literally confounds scientists. Learn about it next on today's Creation Moment. And now, here's our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. Our solar system has a nice, neat structure. Evolutionary theories about the origin of our solar system have always said that it formed into its current neat structure from a swirling disk of hot gases that once orbited the Sun. Now, with the discovery of planets orbiting other stars, astronomers are rethinking their theories about how our solar system formed. The problem is that not one of these other planetary systems have a nice, neat structure, and all the planets so far discovered are closer to their stars than we are to our Sun. The coolest among them has a surface temperature of over 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Most of these planets have orbits so erratic that collisions with other planets are always a threat. So astronomers wonder, how did our solar system become so well-ordered for life? They argue that the large icy planets, Uranus and Neptune, are too large to have formed at the edge of our solar system, and so it is concluded they must have formed closer to the Sun, meaning that the solar system was once as chaotic as the recently discovered planetary systems. However, this new evolutionary approach simply introduces another problem. How could our present orderly solar system have developed out of the chaos of a system in which the planets are crashing around like billiard balls? The Bible still offers the best answer. The solar system was designed and created for us by a wise and loving God. For a free copy of our Creation Resource Catalog, visit our website at creationmoments.com or call us toll free at 1-800-42-BIBLE. And be sure to join us next time for another Creation Moment, proclaiming evidence of God's truth.